Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am Super Nardful, and we are here with a Mario Kart 8 online race evaluation. Here, I take a race I participated in online and evaluate my performance by categorizing different plays from the race into four categories. And the four categories are good, okay, bad, and Mario Karted. Now if you don't know what Mario Kart it is, it's one of those disastrous, unlucky moments that you had little control over that Mario Kart's often infamous for. And at the end I'll be giving my performance a final grade, regardless of whether I get 1st place or 12th place. Hopefully you'll be able to apply some of what you see in this video to your own game and ultimately get better. Now without wasting any more time, let's get started. At the beginning of the race, I get the start- Oh, how many times do I have to say that? Just get the start boost, okay? Since most players drift tight, for good reason of course, I drift wide in order to have a better chance of collecting an item box at the start. This is good. Seeing that more racers were going towards the right path, I took the left in order to prevent myself from getting hit by any items they had. At the beginning of the race, where everybody's still close together, it's smarter to just take wider lines and slower routes in order to let all the other racers just kill each other off. So this is good. While it's usually wise to not drag your item right away, it's basically mandatory at the beginning of the race as everybody's still close together and they have threatening items. And since everybody's so close together, anyone with a red shell won't give you enough time to react and drag your item to protect yourself. This is exactly what happened to me and I get hit with a red shell before I could drag my item. This is bad. <laughs> now if you get hit by an item, your vehicle comes to a complete stop. So when this happens, you must, must, must look behind you in order to see what's going on. Because 9 times out of 10, there's another racer or two coming from behind you at full speed. And any triple items or super horns or piranha plants that they have, you're done for. This is what causes most people to get bodied in a Mario Kart race, taking their first place to an eighth place. If you at least look back, it gives you a chance to react to anything that's coming. Now here in this race, after getting hit by that red shell, I don't look behind myself, and sure enough, there's a racer with a piranha plant. Luckily, I dodge a bullet, and the racer drives by me without his or her piranha plant attacking me. That online lag saved me, but this is a bad play on my part. Mm. Recognizing that the race is a bit more spread out now, and that I'm in 11th place, I swap my banana peel out for another item that I predict to be a slightly better than the one I had. This is good. But I'm not just relying on the item boxes to fuel a potential comeback. I'm also collecting coins on the way in order to increase my speed stat to catch up with the other racers. Coins are really helpful collectibles that are hard to keep in mind in the heat of a race. You shouldn't go out of your way for coins, but you should definitely collect any that are in reach. Even if it means taking that turn slightly wider to collect any. Even if it's just one. Notice how after getting hit by the red shell in the first lap, I have two coins, and by the second lap, I have nine. This is good. Another thing helping me catch up is how I'm drifting. On each turn of this water slide, I get a super mini turbo, and cutting it really tight with soft drifting, and then I quickly hop into the other direction in order to take the next turn the same way. I'm also not tricking off the ramps in order to keep my super mini turbo alive. Since the third turn of this water slide is a little extra long, I quickly release my super mini turbo and then hop right back into another drift to get an extra little mini turbo in there. Now the item I got from earlier turned out to be a single mushroom, and recognizing that there was a shortcut towards the end of the track, I saved it instead of swapping it out for another item in order to take that shortcut. This shortcut pulls me even closer to the main pack of the race, and I'm back in it. Now that I'm really close to another racer on this really narrow path, I decide to take the turn wide in order to avoid them as much as possible. This works out in most situations, as a bullet bill that I didn't even know was coming ends up on the complete opposite side that I was on. Up ahead are two well-placed banana peels on the edge of the track just waiting to ruin someone's day. However, I don't let this disrupt the drift that I already started. Since the first banana peel is really close to the edge, I take my drift wide in order to avoid it. And for the second, I soft drift in order to go back to the edge to avoid that one which was slightly wider. And after avoiding both of those banana peels, I still have my super mini turbo that I was charging up. When I spot a star on my radar, I take the drift wide in order to avoid it. I'm okay with giving up a position for now as I still have triple mushrooms to get it back. 
Once again, I used the mushrooms to take the shortcut that was coming towards the end of the track, although I took a pretty bad angle off that ramp before it. But no worries, I simply slow down a little bit to avoid the wall and change my angle and then use my mushroom to cross the shortcut. Now directly in front of me after that shortcut is a racer with a star, so I slightly run into the wall to prevent myself from running in the back of them. The racer may have actually been aware of this as they also bump into the wall possibly to try and get me, but to no avail. Now here I have triple mushrooms, but at this next item box I want to swap out. However, I react way too late and I don't use my three mushrooms in time to switch items. With triple mushrooms being a pretty decent item and a shortcut coming towards the end of the track, switching items may not have been the smartest decision in the first place. But I do the worst possible thing by using up my three triple mushrooms for nothing in return. So here I am, empty handed for the part of the final stretch. But I made a little something out of nothing by using the turbo I had from using those mushrooms to crash through the barrel which granted me a slightly tighter turn in order to pass the DK that I was behind. This forced the DK to use one of his mushrooms in order to stay ahead of me. After foolishly wasting triple mushrooms, the Mario Kart 8 item system decides to give me a second chance and gives me another set of triple mushrooms. I used the first mushroom to cross the shortcut, and the last two for a final push. And with that mushroom turbo, I do a few fire hops out of desperation. And those fire hops were just enough to steal 4th place from the DK, as he also had triple mushrooms. We'll now take a look at the full race, and I'll give my overall grade afterwards. You know, I have to go with a B plus for this race. There were a lot of times when I had some really sloppy execution, but whenever I did, I made up for it, whether it was my driving or item usage, and I also maxed out in coins. So yeah, I did make up for a lot of things I did bad. So yeah, that's how I evaluated this race. If you feel that I missed anything, you are more than welcome to talk about it in the comment section. But anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Mario Kart 8 tips. And I will see you guys next time.